This program is made possible by Mason's Wallet and patrons like you. Thank you. Hey guys, are you not sure what to do with your crusty old work notebook? Well, I'm gonna show you how to transform this into an awesome gaming machine, but first, we need to make it look the part. Oh man, Mason, how are you gonna do it? What operating system? What front end? What awesome software are you going to use to turn this awful one gigabyte of RAM Intel Atom netbook into an awesome gaming machine? And to that I say, Laka. We're going to use Laka. It's the open source game console, all right? Runs off a lightweight Linux distribution. Mason, are you just reading what's on screen? Yes, I am. And it transforms a small computer into a full-blown retro gaming console, okay? But... You need to do some modifications if your computer is really bad like mine is. So I'm going to run you through that, okay? And it's all super easy to set up. It's incredibly easy. I actually tried installing two other front-end operating system kind of things before this. And um, I didn't even get this far. Like, I tried to install it, and there were a bunch of issues, and it ran really bad. But this one works totally fine, and hopefully it'll work really good for you, too. So, let's go ahead and get it. So, you want to hit get. You want to hit get again. Uh, I'm currently on Windows, so I'm going to click on Windows for the installation. You want to tell it what hardware you want to put it on. It, see, it supports Pi. It supports Banana Pi. I've never had banana pie, but that sounds cool. Um, but we want a PC. We want to download it for 64-bit CPU. Just Google your CPU. Mine's an Intel Atom. It happens to be a 64-bit CPU. You want to go ahead and download it. I already downloaded it. And what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do, and hopefully you'll follow along and do this, I am going to put this onto a USB. These images are USB images, not CD or DVD images. So we'll go ahead and hit next. You'll want to download Win32 Disk Imager. So go ahead and click on that. It'll redirect you to this website, SourceForge. And then you can click on that and you just flash it, which I'm going to actually show you how to flash it in a second. And once you're done with that, there's a bunch of instructions right here, but I'm just going to show you it with the video. So don't even worry about this. So here we are, Win32 Disk Imager. Right here, I just had in my downloads, x86, check your device. My USB is in the D drive. So we'll go ahead and hit right. It's going to overwrite everything on there, even if you have a partition. So keep that in mind and back up your data if you need to do so. Okay, so now that it's done, I'm gonna go ahead and safely eject the drive and I'll meet you at the netbook. You're going to wanna go ahead and insert your USB drive into the PC and have it boot from it. Some text will pop up and you're going to want to hit tab and then type in installer and hit enter. From here, the installer for Laka will start. The first option will be install Laka. Go ahead and hit enter on this and then it will ask you to make sure that you're fine with it overriding everything on your hard drive. Go ahead and hit enter and continue through this. Then it'll tell you you can eject the USB and it'll reboot into the actual operating system. Depending on how strong your PC is, the operating system may work fine as is, but in my case, this netbook's really old and slow and it has significant slowdowns with some settings that I'm gonna show you how to turn off. You're going to want to move over to the settings tab and then scroll down to user interface. Now you want to go to appearance and then go all the way down to menu shader pipeline. Right now, by default, it's on ribbon. Move the arrow key to the left and turn it off. And now it should run pretty much like normal. If you're still having issues, I think your hardware just probably isn't good enough to run it, uh, sorry. Now what you can do is you can insert a flash drive that has some ROMs on it. Most of the very popular ROMs already have built-in uh, Laka calls them cores. They're essentially just emulators. So I decided to go with Super Mario Brothers 2 for the NES. I put it in and I scanned the directory and it instantly added it into the collection and I can run it just no extra tweaking or anything needed. And here we have it. Super Mario Brothers 2. 
Hey yeah. guys, you like my new selfie stick? Is this an outro? Don't say it's an outro or it will... Yeah, it's an outro. Yeah. What up? I'm Jared and I <laughs> what up? didn't learn how to read. And this? It's ding ding. <laughs> oh yeah, but that's just a theory. I look gay. Theory. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome to another nice step vlog. Yo, what's up? It's me, Pizza Pete. I'm here with another pizza review. I got two slices and I'm ready for dices. What's up, brother?